hello guys welcome back to our channel and uh, for today's video we are going to talk about the remainder and the factor theorem so let's start okay so let us start so remember that in a division process we have the dividend divided by the divisor is equal to the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor in simple terms or in example 15 divided by 2 gives us a 7 remainder 1 and the remainder has to be divided by the divisor 2 again uh, and then added to the quotient that's why the result will be 7 and a half or 7 and 1 half so if we're um, when we divide the polynomial f of x by a linear polynomial x minus c we have the division algorithm that goes by f of x or any polynomial divided by the linear polynomial x minus c is equal to the quotient plus the remainder. So we can manipulate this um, equation if we are going to multiply both sides by x minus c. We're going to obtain that f of x is equal to or the polynomial dividend is equal to the divisor x minus c times the quotient plus the remainder. Okay, so x minus c is in degree 1 or linear. So that means that our remainder r of x must have a degree 0 or a constant r. So with that, we can now say that f of x is equal to x minus c times q of x plus the remainder constant or r. So if, if x is equal to c, then we can evaluate the function as f of c is equal to c minus c times q of c plus r. So if we continue simplifying this, we're going to have 0 times q of c plus r and end up with an expression that looks like this, that f of c is equal to r. So with that proof, we can now say that when we divide the polynomial f of x by x minus c, we can simply get the remainder by substituting the c value to the given polynomial. Okay, and that is the remainder theorem. Okay, so the factor theorem is actually coming from the remainder theorem, which means that when we apply the remainder theorem and it gives us that f of c is equal to zero, that means that the remainder is zero. And x minus c is a factor of that polynomial f of x. So, as simple as that. So now, we can skip the process of dividing just to get the remainder. So, what if? Example number one. Determine whether x plus 1 is a factor of the polynom following polynomial. So, let's try it with letter A. So, you can also answer this question by applying... Uh, by performing the long division or synthetic division but it will be a long process now that we know that we have the remainder theorem and the factor theorem by simply substituting the c value of the uh, divisor we can get the remainder so our divisor here is x plus 1 so if x plus 1 is our divisor therefore our c is negative 1 so for both items so let's apply it so meaning Letter A, 3x to the 4th plus um, x cubed minus x squared plus 3x plus 2. Um, when divided by x plus, plus 1, what is the remainder? So instead of applying the synthetic division or the um, long division, we can simply apply the um, remainder theorem, which goes by f of negative 3, or sorry, which goes by f of negative 1 is equal to 3 times negative 1 to the 4th plus negative 1 to the 3rd minus negative 1 squared plus 3 times negative 1 oh, plus 2. Sorry for that spaces. And now we simplify. You can either use your calculator or manually anyway. Oh, sorry. Anyway, it's just one, negative 1. So we have 3. Negative 1 to the 4th is 1. And then negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Oh my god, so many negatives plus 2. So don't be confused. So that's 3. This this um, this will give us negative 2 
minus 3 plus 2. So 3 minus 2 minus 3 plus 2 will give you 0. Therefore, x plus 1 is a factor. Okay, now let's try letter B. Let's check if x plus 1 is a factor of that polynomial x to the 6 plus 2x times x minus 1 minus 4. So, we substitute f of negative 1. So, we have negative 1. Oh, another uh, one tip, guys. When you substitute a negative, always use a parenthesis so that you will not be confused, especially if you're dealing with subtraction. So, negative 1 raised to 6 plus 2 times negative 1 times negative 1 minus 1 minus 4. Can you still see it? Okay, I just move a bit. Okay, so now let's simplify. So, negative 1 raised to 6 is equal to 1 plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 minus 4 and when we simplify this we multiply first negative 2 times negative 2 which is equal to 4 and 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 so the remainder is 1 therefore x plus 1 is not a factor okay so the remainder in the factor theorem um, can be applied to get the remainder and if the remainder is zero we go to the factor theorem which means that that divisor it's is a factor let's have more examples okay so let's proceed find the remainder when 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7 is divided by x minus 1 so for this item um, let's use two methods number one using synthetic division so that it, it will be clear uh, it will be clear to you that the process that we are performing is actually working so synthetic division and then applying the remainder theorem theorem uh, let's start so by synthetic division our synthetic divisor would be 1 because of this x minus c 1 is uh, c is equal to 1 and the coefficient of x cubed is 3 coefficient of x squared is 2 coefficient of x is none or 0 and the constant is negative 7 and now from our past video uh, I dis uh, we discussed that to perform synthetic division we just have to follow simple steps such as bringing down so we bring down the 3 we multiply that's 1 times 3 which is 3 and then we add 2 plus 3 is 5 then repeat the process 1 times 5 1 times 5 so sorry 1 times 5 is equal to 5 and then 0 plus 5 gives us a 5 and then we do the process again 1 times 5 is 5 negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2 so the remainder the remainder is negative 2 so let's check if the remainder is negative 2 if we apply the remainder theorem I'm gonna use a red ink here so our given is 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7 divided by divided by x minus 1 and we are asked to identify the remainder so by the remainder theorem f of c is equal to the remainder so f of 1 is equal to the 3 times 1 cube plus 2 times 1 squared minus 7 basically you just have to substitute and then simplify so we have 3 here plus 2 minus 7 and you can uh, now we can simplify this into 5 minus 7 therefore f of 1 is equal to negative 2 and they are the same meaning the remainder is negative 2 so you have two options so you choose which one you prefer nice okay if you're just asked to find the remainder then i suggest you apply the remainder theorem but if you are asked to uh, to find the quotient then you should be using the synthetic division let's not wait anymore let's go to the third example so now third example so again i said from the last video that if your divisor is in the form of 2x pl plus or minus something not in the x minus c form synthetic division process is still applicable but it will be longer and harder so 
with it with this since the question is just asking find the remainder when 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 5x minus 1 is divided by 2x minus 1 so this is our x minus c and uh, x minus c simply means that what's the value of the x in the divisor so that it will be equal to 0 so in that case so I'll just write it below this 2x minus 1 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 and when we solve for x 2x is equal to 1 divide both sides by 2 x is equal to 1 half so therefore our c is equal to 1 half so f of 1 half is now equal to 2 times 1 half cube plus 5 times 1 half squared plus 5 times 1 half minus 1 so as I've said you can do this manually or you can use a your uh, scientific calculator to make things easier for you so I'm gonna use mine so wait I'm just going to append my calculator okay so let's just, let's open up my calculator there <laughs> And when we press the equal sign, the answer is 3. So f of 1 half is equal to 3. So therefore, the remainder is 3. So you can get that remainder by simply performing long division. And uh, why do you need to perform the long division if you can simply answer the question using the remainder theorem? Okay, so let's give the card for that later now. Let's have another example. Two more examples. Okay, so find the remainder when the polynomial 2 times the x plus 4 raised to 3 plus 2 times the x minus 3 raised to 2 plus 2. Sorry, I forgot to change the color. Divided by 2x plus 5. So same procedure. So if we have 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Oh, sorry, let's not write it there. So if we have 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 then we can say that our x to make this one 0 is equal to negative 5 halves again another fraction therefore c is equal to negative 5 halves so f of negative 5 halves is equal to substitute to the given I think we're going to use the calculator again wait let me open it now okay so erase we have 2 times negative 5 2 times negative 5 over 2 plus 4 why am I using black now anyway raised to 3 plus 2 times negative 5 negative 5 halves minus 3 squared plus 2 and again let's not waste time to do this manually so let's just type it in the calculator oh, wait I'm gonna use the keyboard and with that the remainder is 277 over 4 so let's write it down f of negative 5 halves is uh, 277 over 4 so let's proceed to our last example okay so let's have our last example so in this example example number five um, this is where we apply the remainder in the factor theorem and some few lessons from the lower grades so find the value of k in the polynomial x cubed minus 3x squared plus 8kx plus 5 uh, if it has a remainder of 17 when you divide that polynomial by x minus 3 so first and foremost let's analyze and list down what we know or what we have from the given so we know that the remainder is 17 so we can now say by the remainder theorem f of the c is equal to 17 next we have a divisor x minus 3 and in x minus 3 we can easily identify that our c value is equal to positive 3 and lastly in this polynomial okay when you divide by x minus 3 you get a remainder of 17 
so with those values or with those um, given we can now solve for the value of k so let's start so what we know so far is that if we are going to substitute i'm going to use black 3 to this given polynomial the result would be 17. so with that we can now have 3 raised to 3 minus 3 times 3 raised to 2 plus 8k x sorry plus 8k times 3 times 3 plus 5 has a remainder or equal to 17 okay so i hope that's clear and now we simplify 3 cube is 27 3 times 3 squared is also 27 plus 8 times 3 times k is 24k plus 5 is equal to 17 so 27 minus 27 is 0 leaving us with 24k and if we are going to transpose this 5 to the right side or we can say subtract 5 to both sides of the equation we're going to have 17 minus 5 so 24k is equal to um, 12 and when we divide both sides by 24 therefore k is equal to one half so that's how we find the missing value of a given polynomial applying the remainder theorem same goes with factor theorem if it, the question says that it's um it is a factor then the remainder should be zero then this equal sign should be equal to zero so with that i hope that you learned something from today's video about the remainder and the factor theorem for our next video we're going to apply this to in solving cubic and higher degree polynomials so with that hit the like button if you learned something from today comments down below or please write down your comments of the things you want me to discuss to you and i'll do my best to do it and with that i'll see you in the next video Peace.